Louise Bourgeois was a French-American artist that lived from 1911 until 2010 when she died. She is most well known for her giant sculptures, however she was also a prolific painter and printmaker during her career. Looking at her work, we can see that Bourgeois took great inspiration from certain artists such as Max Ernest and her personal connection Duchamp. I think that it is clear that Bourgeois took inspiration from artists that lied more in the abstract category. Bourgeois' career timeline ran from the transition from modern to contemporary art. During this time, modern art was seen to be mostly white, middle class, male and more western with cities such as Paris, Berlin and then later on New York seen as centres of art. We can also see that the most prolific, prolific artists fit these descriptions, like Dali and Van Gogh. <clears throat> As we head further to the 21st century, we see the world starts to question these ideas of superiority, and society starts to become more and more accepting of different art, different work. We can see this in artists such as Kara Walker and Andy Warhol, and I think this can, this change can be seen in Bourgeois' work too. In this very early piece titled Spiral Lady, we can see that Bourgeois' work is very abstract using shapes and forms to suggest an idea of an object, in this case, a body of a woman. If we jump further along in her career, we can see that this piece, the couple, uses the same ideas and meanings, but being more directly representational, which we can see with the legs that are apparent and more of a bodily shape. This, I believe, shows how Bourgeois' career progressed. She wanted to show things more for how they were. I also believe she started to create more and more personally driven work at this point. Louise Bourgeois work has many re-emergent themes that persisted throughout her career. The ones I found most interesting were her personal focus on these characters and ideas of the father, the mistress and the appearance of the mother. The figure of the father relates to this piece where Bourgeois looks at masculinity. The way this piece is crudely put together and hung by wire gives off this aggressiveness which may make some men feel quite uncomfortable. The title of this piece also interests me. Fillette in French means little girl, so it seems Bourgeois is trying to emasculate the image, although it is a very masculine object. I also believe this piece is a commentary on the Freudian idea of penis envy, where women are envious of men as they do not have their genitalia which has been criticised heavily by the feminist movement, which Bourgeois was a part of. They say this idea that women envy male genitalia is ridiculous and sexist, as women have their own sexual organs. We also see this other image taken by the famous photographer Robert Maplethorpe, where she is posed with the fillet, with her little girl. And we can see how, how she has this grin on her face, which is very unnerving, as she is, if she is taunting people how she is appropriating this phallic object. The mistress is another re-emergent theme that we see in her work. As we can see here, we have this image of Bourgeois as a child with her father, her brother, and most importantly, her tutor, Sadie Gordon Richmond. Sadie was brought into the family to teach the children English, and this gave Bourgeois a kind of connection with her. However, Sadie also had a sexual relationship with her father. So there is this kind of betrayal that Bourgeois feels. She feels betrayed by Sadie, who, has, who was brought in for her, but then taken by the father. I think that a lot of the anger we see in her work in relation to these figures comes from her trauma from her childhood, which she relates to the mistress. <clears throat> As we move on to this idea of the mother, we delve into the importance of the mother to Bourgeois. We see how dominant the theme of the spider becomes in her late work. Bourgeois uses this image of the spider to convey her idea of her mother. Although we may look at, uh, at a piece such as Maman and see the, this almost horrific sculpture of a giant spider, Bourgeois uses the spider to describe how mothers are protective and powerful. I think we can also look at what a spider does to understand. A spider builds its home, and I really think that Bourgeois is trying to show us the idea of the spider is a comfort. And if you actually go under Maman, you can see an egg sac, so to show this idea of how mothers are protective. However, I, also, I do also believe there is this lingering feeling of the spider being a trap almost, 
if we think about webs and venom that accompany the idea of a spider. In 1995, Bourgeois released a book of drawings and poems named Ode, Ode à ma mère, meaning Ode to my mother. The book was filled with these drawings of spiders, all different but the same. We see that this is where Bourgeois' work started to become more dominated by these spiders. I think, I think that this book is an exploration of the spider, the mother. After reading through, after reading through Ode de ma mère, I created my own drawings of the spiders, taking inspirations from her other work she has done on the spider. Bourgeois has had huge influence on many artists and movements, namely the feminist art movement of artists such as the Gorilla Girls, Louise Nevelson, and, and Eva Hess. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that Bourgeois' career has had a big impact on the movement of art in her time, and is one of the most important figures in feminist art. My personal opinion on Bourgeois is that her work was, and still is, extremely important. I think that her interest in exploring relationships, family and sexuality is executed almost perfectly, and the personal connection she has to her work creates this very comforting feeling. Even with her crude sculptures, there is still comfort in her art. I personally believe her work on the mother is amazing. <clears throat> I think that what would be interesting for me to explore is a relationship of a son and a father rather than a mother and a daughter in my response piece. Thank you for listening.